Hello Aries, happy Sunday to you. I hope you're doing well wherever you are. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Aries, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. Let's do this. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Aries, for Aries' highest good please you know let's be show us what's coming up for aries in the life and how is aries currently doing on their soulmate journey what's coming up for aries in the life and how is aries currently doing on their soulmate journey this one over here wants to show up us extra message let's see Aries oh you feel disconnected from your soulmate you still love your soulmate so for those of you that are still loving your soulmate uh, it feels like there is problem with this relationship yeah you have problem communicating with this soulmate it's like it's an off and on off and on relationship you feel disconnected from them, yeah, but you still love them. You're questioning their feelings because here you're holding two cups, questioning their feelings, if they love you as much as you love them. In some cases, if they love you at all, this is you having a lot of unanswered questions that have to do with feelings, emotions. Yeah, look at this, cups, 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 all about feelings, emotions. The tower so something happened in this relationship recently where you really are taking a step back to look more objectively at yourself at them and the two of you together in this relationship yeah something just happened that mm, maybe internally this is you taking another look at this relationship yeah You are listening to your intuition. You using your intuition more than ever now. Before you were like, ah, oh. but now you're more intuitive. You listen to that intuition more than ever before. So you always had this great intuition, but now you're paying attention to it. Yeah, you're very sensitive to energy. You're very sensitive to energy, emotions of other people. I feel I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. I think I have my allergies today. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Aries. A lot of you are dealing with the water sign, which could be um, Scorpio, Cancerian, and Pisces. <coughs> sorry about that. Wow. Universe, please show us what's coming up for aries and the life and how is aries currently doing on their summit journey yeah this is you kind of feeling like you need to um take a moment to really look at everything objectively not take actions right now yeah you are so connected with this summit very connected emotionally spiritually past life connection with them you really love this person some of you are also dealing with aquarius look how beautiful your energy is you really are extremely intuitive now you finally are using that intuition more than ever you are opening up intuitively yeah to energies you read people well oh something is worrying you yeah so here you are showing up right above planet earth like you are trying something happened that got you really worried because here's the tower moment you see something coming from the sky tower moment and um you are showing up here 
this is very symbolic, of course. You are showing up here above planet Earth, like trying to figure out what is going on, what your next step is going to be. Something got you really worried. Yeah, let's see. Just remember, don't lose focus on what's in front of you, right, in your life. Whatever it is, it's beyond your control that's going on that got you so worried, you see, because these are, um, this is the tower moment, some kind of truth revealed. You see this? This is something coming to the surface. And it's two major arcanas, life force cards, which, which means it's divinely ordered. So something is going on that got you worried, but you have no control over it personally. Yeah. <clears throat> So remember, stay focused on what's going on with your life, right? Yeah, that things that you can uh, work on, uh, that you have control over, right? Yeah. Universe, please show us. Don't lose track of what's going on in front of you. Universe, please show us what's coming up for my fabulous Aries and how is Aries currently doing on their summit journey? Yeah, so... You view yourself as not in a relationship with this soulmate at this time. So it looks like this reading is for those of you, Aries, that are in either shaky relationship or are broken up. Yeah, but you still love them. You still feel connected with them. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever is going on got you really worried Nine of Swords, this is you sl losing sleep over what's going on. Uh, that's beyond your control over here with the tower. You see the tower moment. Uh, dark skies. Oh, I know what it is. Wow. Yeah, everybody's worried. Yeah, this is you losing sleep over it. You see this? This is you worrying excessively, not sleeping. Tossing, turning. Wow. Wow. So this is you making some kind of wise moves financially. You see this? This is you. So something is going to happen in your life, financially speaking, that is going to make you proud, happy, emotionally fulfilled. Some kind of wish fulfillment that has to do with finances. Yes. Beautiful. Some kind of financial windfall. Blessings. Yeah. Ooh, so, wow, look at this. So, here is lovers with a snake underneath. So, whatever this is, whatever you think this is, um, this is deceptive energy here. You see this? Like, you can't really believe what you see. Like, you have to make your own... Uh, judgment on the situation you see because snake whenever you see a snake a serpent in tarot that's a sign for deception uh, deceit betrayal yeah so this is you needing to really um, be very discerning uh, while judging the situation you see this yeah so be very careful <clears throat> How you perceive things, what you think is really going on. Yeah. Wow. This is you being uh, very cautious, careful, worried. You love your soulmate a lot. Yeah. Let me see what's going on here. Wow. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Aries and how is Aries <clears throat> currently doing on their summit journey. Something is being hidden on purpose. You see this? Something in your personal life and something with that tower and, and where you're standing above the world trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, things being hidden on purpose. You see this? Look at this. Secrets, hidden things, and a snake we just saw. <clears throat> Oh, a card just fell down. It was six of cups. Okay, so <clears throat> your soulmate loves you as well. Yeah. 
something hidden from you at your job as well. You see this? This is you investigating, researching, uh, being very analytical, discerning to find out the truth. And you're going to find it out. You see, you're going to find out what's really going on. You're going to find out some kind of important information. Look how fabulous you are. You're showing up again as my favorite queen of all queens, queen of pentacles with your third eye wide open. So once again, um, you use your intuition more than ever. You're more aware of your intuition more than ever. Uh, so you always had that intuition, but you kind of ignored it. I shouldn't say ignored it. You didn't pay attention as much uh, to your intuition as you do now. Yeah. Yeah, you are trying to connect with higher power, praying, meditating, reflecting, spending time in nature, trying to figure out what's next in your life and in your job and in your relationship with your soulmate. Yeah. You are very discerning, careful, analytical, strategic. Yeah. Universe, please show us what is going on currently with that soulmate of Aries that Aries has been dealing with. And how is that soulmate of Aries towards Aries at this time, especially emotionally? <clears throat> What's going on currently with that soulmate of Aries? And how is that soulmate of Aries towards Aries at this time, especially emotionally? This one is trying to hide from me. Yeah, so you view yourself as not in a relationship with this person and they view themselves as not in a relationship with you at this time. So clearly, uh, this part is for those of you that are either broken up or are about to break up Yeah, in this relationship. They want so badly to communicate with you but are not really initiating this communication. They're stressed out about this situation, this relationship. They're very much stressed out. Yeah. Oh my goodness. They realize they miss you. This is them missing you a lot. Your work is showing up here like you overworked. You're doing too much. There's somebody in your, at your job, whoever it is, um, is a sign of Taurus. You see this? And you are trying to kind of catch them doing something. Yeah, because it's like you are distrusting towards that person at your job. So Taurus is, um, let's see, the, the last week or so of April, the sign after you. The last week or so of April and the first three weeks or so of May. So pay attention to Taurus people at your job. You see this? Taurus and kind of money being taken. And you are overworked. You are worrying. You are trying to find out what's really going on. Yeah. Wow. You're going through a lot. Ah, so your soulmate wants to reconcile with you. For those of you that haven't broken up yet, this soulmate doesn't want to lose you. They want to have better understanding and they want you to understand them better. But for that to happen, the two of you need to communicate effectively with each other. Without communication, there is no relationship to speak of, right? Not just romantically speaking, but any relationship. If people, if two people, whether it's a business relationship work relationship, family relationship, friendship, romantic relationship. If two people are not communicating effectively, what's going to happen? Nothing good, right? There will be a lot of doubts, insecurities, uh, accusations, unanswered questions, right? Yeah. So for this relationship to be stronger, communication needs to happen. Open communication right universe please show us hmm what's going on currently with that soulmate of aries what concerns me is i don't see any cup cards here any emotions feelings yet 
yeah, you see, communication, communication. So they know that if you don't reach out, if you don't start this communication, they will. They want to talk about it. They have a lot of respect for you. Yeah, they would prefer you reach out to them first, start this first, but they know if you don't, they're going to have no choice but to communicate with you. You're going to find something out at your job. You see this? Uh, you're going to find something out because you are searching for something, researching, looking for something. Yeah. <clears throat> this person, finally we see cops. This person loves you a lot, this soulmate, and they miss you. It's like they feel disconnected, but they love you. Yeah. But they view themselves as available, not in a relationship. So the two of you are broken up, not really. Um, <clears throat> wow, somebody new entering your life, Aries. So for those of you that are broken up, it looks like a new person is entering your life. You see this matching your beautiful energy, Aries. Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Your soulmate is missing you. Wait a minute, there's money missing over here. Yeah, so this is you investigating something. There's missing money. You see five of pentacles and here's six of pentacles. But the hand is taking one of the pentacle out, which makes it five of pentacles. So you are concerned because you see a pattern of behavior in someone that is causing you a lot of concern. And you want to investigate to see what is going on. You have total passion for your work. You have total passion, dedication for what you do, but you're not happy with what's going on. And the more you dig, the more you find out. And it's not making you happy with what you find out. Um, yeah, this is you needing to be careful because you are very sensitive to energy and you pick up other people's energy. Do not allow yourself to get upset uh, distressed by what you find out. Just remember this. You cannot control other people's behaviors, right? What you can control is how you react to their behavior, right? Yeah. Do not give yourself headache about things that you find out that are beyond your control, that you cannot change yourself, right? Yeah. Um, you need to know when to cut uh, <clears throat> the situation off emotionally so you're not uh, distressed in your personal life because of what's going on at your job right yeah because it's going to affect your personal life in a negative way meaning relationships in your personal life whether it's relationship with your soulmate your friends your family this is you needing to know when to say mm, enough of me worrying um i cannot control other people's behavior or reaction or whatever right or actions this is you knowing when to uh, um, detach emotionally from what's going on around you now give yourself a headache or migraine or high blood pressure because of what you're finding out uh, is really happening and you cannot uh, change it for the better right people need to learn their lessons right take accountability for their actions Universe, please show us. The soulmate wants to be on peaceful terms with you. They want to reconcile. Universe, please show us what is going on currently with that soulmate of Aries. But they don't know if that's going to happen. So they are detached emotionally at this time. Yeah, it's like they don't communicate with you effectively. There's not enough communication between you two. Yeah, you see, they feel heartbroken, sad, uh, not communicating right now, very guarded emotionally because this is swords, swords. This is them unsure if this reconciliation is going to happen at all. You see, swords, 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 all these swords. Justice. Listen, whatever it is that you're worried about that, it's not, it has nothing to do with your job, but with that tower and you uh, showing up in that card right above the world. It was symbolic, of course. It's, it's karmic. 
it's a karmic event. It had to happen. You see this? Uh, where you sleep uh, kind of with one eye open, kind of lose sleep over the event or whatever. It's a karmic event. Justice, karma, you see? And you see two people. This is very interesting because uh, I, I think this is the only tarot deck that has two people in Justice card, not one. So whatever that event is, you see, it's a karmic event. Justice and judgment together in the same spread is karma on a grand scale. But whoever is directly involved, uh, one of them is truthful and one of them is not. You see this? So the truth always comes up. That's one of the universal laws. The truth will eventually come out sooner or later. Yeah. So this is you knowing when to detach yourself emotionally from certain situations and events that are beyond your control. You cannot lose sleep over it. You cannot let it affect your personal relationships, right? Yeah, your everyday life. You need to know when to draw the line and say, okay, I'm not getting emotionally attached to this situation. Hoping for the best, praying for the best, but not getting uh, attached emotionally, right? Yeah, because you can't change certain things. You cannot do anything about certain things. Whatever is going on is a karmic event with that justice and judgment. Aries, we're going to go into your extended reading. Obviously, we're going to ask about your soulmate, the person you've been dealing with, but also new soulmate that's popping up in your life, that's showing up as king of pentacles which I love, by the way. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time. And anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life. Wow, the King of Pentacles energy, new chapters, new beginnings in your life. Also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships. Whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Aries, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and i'll see you there love you guys